Welcome to the special edition of The Pace Report, reporting live here at B.B. King's here in New York City. For well over 15 years, Duck Down Records has given the hip-hop community and the world classics from groups like Black Moon, Smith & Wesson, Boot Camp Click, and even contemporary uh, hip-hop today from Kids in the Hall, Torre and Marco Polo, as well as the upcoming projects from Pete Rock and also Pharaoh Monch. The independent label has really survived on putting out music to appeal to the underground, not the masses. And tonight here at BB Kings is a reflection of 15 years of hard work and also the staying power of how underground hip hop still reigns supreme, not only in New York City, but around the world. <laughs> Dug down 15 years in the business. You've seen the highs and lows of the record industry for the last 20 years. Tell me what this label means to hip hop right now. Oh, man, I mean, it's extremely important, man. It's like, this is the culture of it. This is the essence of it. It's like when you dig back into the archives, like we dig for records and we find Bob James, Coltrane, James Brown, what have you. I look at music like 40 years from now, 20 years from now, when people were digging through the records in the archives and they find into the stage, it will be a representation of what hip hop is. And I mean that from the heart. You know, just the essence of attitude. You know, uh, the MC who really brings it, you want to say those rhymes, you know what I'm saying? Uh, I, I feel like Buckshot had all of Brooklyn wanting to say those rhymes and adapt that swagger that he had on that album. That's what the shit is all about. From LL to Rock Him to KRS to Cool G Rap to Buckshot, it's like he embodies that shit, man. And that, that's that's the foundation that 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 duck down is built on. Um, my take on is that I'm happy to be here and a part of it. I'm producing the new tech and still our monumental man. I'm just happy to be a part of it. I'm proud of Drew Hart, proud of the whole roster right since day one. I 
I mean, truthfully, visually, we was just uh, making music that was for the block. We was making music that felt good to everybody that was around us, you know what I mean? As we learned the business, we learned the hands-on, because you have to make music for outside of the block, outside of your hood. And that's why we're still here making 15 years anniversary right now, because we do timeless music. And it's a boot camp thing, it's a duck down thing, it's a Smith & Watson, Black Moon, Health & Skelter, OGC thing, basically. How you guys keep it together? That's my brother. The thing is, with family, before we was even a rap group, before we was Smith & Wesson, we was family. And that's the whole thing about the boot camp clip. This shit came together out of being family, and then it formed into a music group. So, as you know, family go through arguments, family fights. But what we have is, we have family and then music second. So for us to come back and do and have conversation to be like this is this or this is that, you need to do this and do that, it's really nothing. It's all beautiful. It's the all out, all out, all out in line. In my boot camp, this is their line. Who's the truth? Who's the liar? Who's the cat? Who's the liar? Who cuts back the iron? Who the raw? Who the truth? Who the real shit? Remember the lies from the book. Yeah. I came from a book. Motivation from the push. Your quality. Well, Duck Down is just, you know, Duck Down is the Cinderella story, you know, it's, it's the idea that artists could come into the game and experience the music industry and then make a decision on how they're going to approach it. And that's exactly what this whole collective of artists have done. And they've established a fan base and done it in a way where they've developed a cult fan base and an independent fan base so they can do what they want to do as opposed to what they have to do. They do what they have to do, they hustle us, and they, they teach us in the game how to hustle and get that paper, but they do what they want to do creatively, and that's the lesson that you take away from what they do. If you were to define one song that they've recorded throughout their 15 years, what defines the Duck Down catalog? I mean, you know, Duck Down catalog got so many classic hits, especially if you're in the real pure hip hop, you know what I'm saying? But the song that I always point to as, as just a groundswell of, of just pure positive Brooklyn energy, Duck Down energy, a soundboy burial with all the members of Duck Down participating on the record. You know what I'm saying? That'll do it again for another edition of the Pace Report. I'm Brian Pace reporting live here at BB Kings. I'd like to personally thank Noah Friedman over at Duck Down Records as well as the many hip hop artists and producers that supported Duck Down as well as gave their thoughts and comments on the label. As always, please visit my website, www.thepacereport.com, for my weekly column, as well as my past segments. Until next time, remember, if it's in the groove, it'll make you move. Until next time, peace. Stay real, never change. It's a lot of suckers who run in the thing, you bust in the thing. Hard, peace, God, is no peace now. Hate that peace, I'm living it. Check it, full throttle, full brown water bottle. We about to celebrate it like we just won the lottery. Money for the making, money for the taking. I ain't mean, give a fuck less about anybody who's taking it. Get up, corporate small and corporate all. And in a minute, I'm about to go wrong. I'm headed blow with it. Take it to the top of the top.